a pleasure to be here. You know, every time they introduce me, they always fail to talk about the most important thing about me. I love to talk about money. I want you to do some thinking for me. Think about this. You visit your friend. You talk about money. No, do you sit down and talk about how to make money? You know, is, this, is that what you talk about? When you visit relatives, do you talk about making money? When you visit um, friends, wherever, do you go around just talking about making money? But I'm the fearless one, the one who talks about making money. Today, I'll teach you how to make money. It is such a pleasure to be here. How do I move my slides? So here's my topic for today, daily bank alerts. I'd like you to repeat it. Please repeat it with a lot of vigor. Daily bank alerts. Today I will teach you how to make money every day of your life. Daily bank alerts. Making money every blessed day of your life. It doesn't matter how old you are. I will teach you the fundamentals and I will teach and I'll let you go along and make money. So like I said, making money is not typically discussed. You don't walk around the streets and people are talking about how to make money. In fact, making money is kept as secrets. It doesn't matter how you are the favorite girl of your uncle. You don't visit him and he says, hey, sit down. So are you making good money? Let me tell you how I'm making money. Does that happen? Nobody talks about how they make money. People keep their money-making, um, you know, patterns, strategies as secrets. Nobody talks about it. But guess what? We have to normalize talking about money because we have to make money. You know, earlier this year in January, uh, I had put some fixed deposits with some company, and I, I almost lost all of it. And, you know, going from EFCC Zone 2, police station, writing petitions in big, big grammar, it brought a realization to me that life wasn't only about making money. It was about learning to keep the money. It therefore means that we don't only even make money. We make it, we keep it, we grow it. So we better start to normalize having conversations about making money, keeping money, and growing money. That was when I realized, wait a minute. In fact, when they said talking about how the company didn't have board of directors, how a lot of things, I said, saying, ah, ah, you mean I didn't do all this research? I, I thought I was the smart one. I thought I was the intelligent one. How didn't I pick up that this company had no board of directors? How didn't I pick up this and that and that and that? That's when I realized that there's a whole different ball game to learning to keep money. So like I said, you have to learn to make, to keep, and grow. Technical, my slides are not moving. Okay, so it's moving here. So we have to get comfortable talking about money if we must learn certain principles about money. See, I need to beg you to forgive me. I'm an accountant. My slides are very boring. You would notice all the other speakers came up here and they had beautiful slides with images. I got no image for you. <laughs> My slides have sentences that look like this. They are very boring, but they are very impacting. <laughs> all right, let's go. We have to learn to make money. We have to learn to keep money. We have to learn to grow money. So we better start talking about money. Today, I want to talk to you about the concept of daily bank alerts. I first heard about it last year when I hosted, my friend Nelly and I hosted an event in Port Harcourt. Every time we host an event, we pick someone from the crowd to moderate the event. So the person will take the microphone, he will walk around and, you know, have people ask questions. 
So at this event in Port Harcourt, we chose a young man called Emmanuel. Little did we know that Emmanuel would go ahead to change my life. And today, I will use what I learned from Emmanuel to change your life. So at the end of the moderation, we asked Emmanuel to say anything. He had 10 minutes to say anything. It was Emmanuel's winning moment. And Emmanuel said to us, I want to tell you that for 600 and something, something, I don't have the figures in my head, days, I have made money every day of my life. Huh? He said, every day of my life, I have unlocked what I call DBA, Daily Bank Alert. The principles of making money every day of your life. And Emmanuel went ahead to teach us in 10 minutes how he makes money every day. From the day that he consciously started to think and to act it out, there has not been one day that Emmanuel didn't make money. Today, I will transfer that power to you. Raise up your hand. I receive the power to make daily money. I receive the power to make money daily. I will teach you what Emmanuel taught me. Are we excited? All right, so let's get started. So here's the whole idea of daily bank alerts. The whole idea is that you want customers to pay you money every day of your life. Even if it starts from 1,000 naira or $2 or if it ever becomes $1, whatever it is, you believe that it will grow from there. You understand that daily bank alert will not distort your other bulk money. Maybe you're here, you do government contracts, you have one contract for 100 million, that's fine. But you also like to learn how to make 100,000 a day, am I right? Exactly. So the DBA concept doesn't in any way disrupt the bulk money that you make in your life. You understand that DBA removes pressure from you that on, on the bulk money you make so that you can use the daily money to meet certain obligations. Feeding, put clothes on your back, shoes on your feet, pay the power bill, run the fuel in the car, in the generator. That's what you will do with the DBA money that you will make. So that your bulk money that you are making it's fine, you will keep making your 100 million, but you will learn the fundamentals to make 10K a day, 100K a day, 1,000 a day, and it will keep growing because the fundamentals are the same and I will teach you today. Finally, every one of us will live today with a burden in our hearts to go and learn or to go and think about our DBA project. Every one of us is going to express your own daily bank alert in different ways. I have my own expression. You will find your own after my teaching today. Everyone will find their own DBA. But the whole idea is that you will sit like this and alerts will drop. You look at it, you smile, DBA. You enter church, you turn off your phone, you come out, turn on your phone. Pakam, pakam, DBA. That's the life I want for you. You sleep, you wake up, you open your phone. What will you see? Alert, DBA. And then you will go ahead to teach your friends, your family, your children, the fundamentals of making money every day of your life. Because we are all going to key into what I call daily bank alerts, DBA. So let's get started in the midst of it. I'm sure, I'm sure you're excited. Are you? Are you excited? You know, sometimes I ask myself, I'm 42, by the way, and I have four children. And I ask myself, why did it take so long for me to discover some of the things that I learned? And the answer was simple. The knowledge isn't pedestrian. The knowledge isn't standing on the road. The knowledge isn't commonplace. It had to take you to be in a place like this a ticketed event, an event for great minds, for you to uncover certain secrets. 
There are many things that will never be kept on the road. And as you're walking, you'll be picking them. You really have to go out of your way to find certain knowledge. I'm starting and I don't know why you're not writing. Because the knowledge is not pedestrian. I don't know why you're not writing. Can I see writing materials up? Great. Can I see writing materials up? Because you're about to receive power. Who knows that knowledge is power? Who knows that knowledge is power? You're about to receive power. You have to write it down. You have to write it down. So your DBA project can be a product or a service. You can deliver it physically or digitally. It can apply to your current business or your current skill or maybe not even your current business or your current skill. At the end of learning, you will decide whatever you choose for your DBA project. Maybe your current skill, maybe not. So maybe you're currently a medical doctor. You may have a DBA project from your knowledge of medicine. Maybe you're a lawyer. You may choose your DBA project from your knowledge of law or not even any of those. You can choose your DBA project from any other skill or expression or interests that you have. So I know you want DBA in your life, and I'm going to take you through four simple steps to activate DBA in your life. Four simple steps to activate DBA in your life. Step number one, develop a consciousness. Write that down. Step one, develop a consciousness. Develop a consciousness. So from today, you have heard about DBA. I want you to have a heart that desires it. A hunger for it. To say to yourself, I want to walk around my day knowing that people will keep crediting my account. Many of you already here have DBA in your life going on. There's something you sell that people are already paying you every day. The difference is that you never have sat down to come into this level of consciousness. It just happens. Maybe you sell meat. And every day people buy meat. Only the day you're sick, they don't buy. So you really have never sat down to think about DBA. As far as you kill that goat and go to the market, they actually buy... So you're fine with it. But today, you are going into a higher level of consciousness. A level where your heart begins to yearn after it. A level where you begin to count the days. You are going to become like Emmanuel. Who will say to yourself, it's been 673 days. And every day of my life, since I learned DBA, I have earned daily. So that's the first step. Develop the consciousness. A heart that wants it, an awakened heart, a hunger for it, a strong desire for it. And guess what? You will be ready to work for it. You're not going to hunger and not be ready to do the work. I'm sure we agree. You're not going to hunger for it and not be ready to do the work. Number two, understand the foundation. I will lay the foundation for you on how to make money every day of your life. Understand the foundation. Now, here's the foundation. I call it the O and D. Ownership and distribution are the foundations that power making money every day of your life. Ownership and distribution. You must create ownership of something. You must create ownership of something. Please listen well. I didn't say you must create something. I said you must create what? Ownership. Meaning I don't need to own it. I don't need to build a rocket, a, a rocket. I don't need to, you know, be the one that created the rocket. But I can create ownership of the rocket. I don't even need to create ownership of the rocket. I can create ownership of a license to use the rocket. Am I making sense? So the act of creating ownership is different from the act of creating something. I haven't asked you to create something. I have asked you to create what? Ownership. So to create ownership can be a license, 
a certification, a space, a car, a house, a building, a thing, a product, a whatever. Just create ownership of something. And then make up your mind that you will spend your time and resources massively distributing that thing. Simple logic. Ownership and distribution powers the principle of making money every day of your life. Create ownership of something and make up your mind that you will invest time and resources to massively distribute it. O and D. Ownership and distribution. Ownership and distribution. That's the foundation. And I said, you can own absolutely anything. Number three, create the product. What was number one? What was number two? What is number three? Create the product. We said we are going to be making money every day of our lives. It means we have to have a product to sell to a market. There has to be something physical, not physical, intangible, electronical, whatever way we are going to create a product. But not just any product can give you daily money. The products have to meet certain criteria. My slides are not moving. Okay, they are. And that's the criteria for the product that brings daily money. Can we read out the criteria? L, E, another E, L, good. These are the criteria for products that bring daily money. It has to be low priced. It has to be evergreen. Evergreen means, you know, they die. Something that people keep wanting. People will continue to want that thing. Don't tell me my DBA project is NIN registration. The next government may scrap it. It's not evergreen. Am I clear? Yes. Don't tell me I opened one shop. I'm doing NIN here. That's my DBA. Excuse me? It's not evergreen. It's not evergreen. The next characteristic is it must be able to sell every day. Wedding gown does not sell every day. Burial casket does not sell every day. This event hall does not sell every day. Who knows? So these things I have mentioned do not fit into the criteria of the products you will create for your DBA. It must be able to sell every day. You and I know things that don't sell every day. Cars don't sell every day. But car accessories sell every day. Do I make sense? Good. So in choosing your DBA product, you must make something that fits into this criteria. Luxury products don't sell every day. Don't tell me I have a shop that sells diamond ring. That's my DBA. Diamond ring is not low priced. It doesn't sell every day. Am I making a point? So in choosing the products, for your DBA project, it has to meet these four criteria. The last one is has to have a large market. Please don't sell pigeon. Maybe the pigeon lovers are not many. I don't know if I make sense. Yes. Don't tell me I sell pigeons that talk. Excuse me? It doesn't have a large enough market. Sell something that the market is large enough. So these are the criteria when you are creating your DBA product. It must be low priced, evergreen, capable of selling every day, and it must have a large market. I'm going to the fourth point. Create the traffic. The last point. Create the traffic. Let's go over the points again. Number one. Number two. Number three. And the last one. Create the traffic. When we say tra traffic, we are talking about the people who want to buy what you are selling. Let me tell you something, and I'll say this sentence categorically clear. 
You know what that means? I said it clearly. If you spend 97% of your time marketing, let me repeat that sentence again. If you spend 97% of your time performing marketing activities, you will be very wealthy. I woke up this morning, I'm selling a course. The program starts on the 1st of November. I have a target, number of students. I woke up this morning, I emailed my list, 40,000 people. I've sent out an email. I wrote in my Telegram group, I have two Telegram groups with thousands of people. Post on social media. I'm running adverts, my daily budget is like maybe 20K. So as I'm standing in front of you, I have secured my bag for the day. Because I live a life of making money every day, I say to myself, 50,000 people must hear of what you're my selling every day. The girl that came to do makeup for me in the hotel, I said, how is it? Hey, Auntie Beranye, but why am I here? I said, really? Why am I here? How? What have you done? What did you do today? She said, ha, what will you do now? Anyway, I said, that's the problem. That's the problem with you. That's the only marketing. That's, that's all you know. Are you running any ads on Instagram? No. You came to me to do makeup today, and I told you, oh, I don't want to wear a lot of makeup. Can you do like this? Why don't you write a story about me? Why don't you write about some women who don't want to wear a lot of makeup? Why don't you do this? Why don't... When I mentioned 10 things she wasn't doing, why don't you teach women to do regular, regular makeup for going to work, going to church? Why do you only wait for events to be called to do makeup? I asked her like 10, do you have a WhatsApp phone? Do you have a customer list? Are you going to ask me after this makeup session for two or three customers to refer you? I mentioned like 10 different marketing activities. And her answer to each one was, no, no, no. Because you are here saying, oh, there's nothing happening in Oweri. Pray for me. Let me find customers. But I've mentioned 10 different, very simple marketing activities. As simple as saying, hey, auntie, save my number. Kelechi, make up Oweri. Can I save your own auntie? Anytime you're in Oweri, call me up. As simple as that. Do you have a WhatsApp list? No. Were you going to ask me for two referrals? No. Are you running any ads on Instagram with as little as 2,000 Naira? No. I asked 10 different simple marketing activities. No. But we are praying to make money every day. But if you do these 10 activities I have said, you will make money every day. I repeat, if you spend 97% of your time performing marketing activities and leave other people to do operation activities, you will be stupendously wealthy. I'm an accountant. I sell accounting software. In a year, when we go for meetings with other accountants, some people have sold two in the year, three. Do you know how many I sell in a year? Who has an idea? Guess any number. How many? Sorry? No, I don't sell up to 1,000. Last year, I did 600 and something. Accounting software is not food. It's not something you're supposed to be selling in such numbers. I don't know if, if I'm making sense. Sometimes some people pay over a million for it. It's not, I will go to Awuji. You're, you're not supposed to be selling a lot of it, but I'm selling a lot of it. Do you know why? Marketing activities. I spend my time doing marketing activities because I understand that operational activities, I can teach another. You are here, you make cake. You wake up in the morning, guys, how you here for here to buy sugar butter and flour. Operational activities. That you could have taught anybody to go and buy sugar butter and flour. You wake up, that's what you're doing. You're running around. Operational activities. That you, can, you could have asked anybody to do it. But marketing. How about you wake up in the morning and you dress up and you go to a company? Good day, my name is this, I make cake. 
please, can I have the list of all your staff? And I will surprise them with a birthday cake with your company logo on it. Maybe in a month, you would have signed up seven companies. Marketing activities. And that's where it comes in. If you must make money daily, you will do what? Create the traffic. High traffic of people are hearing about you. Look at Dangote. He makes money every day. Supergetti, sugar, salt, pasta, cement. What is his traffic? A chain of distributors and sub-distributors growing every day. Do you know? That's his traffic without end. In his sleep, whether he's falling, at, whether he's sick, people are offloading trailers of cement, of indomie, of all sorts. Whether he's in a meeting, whether he's sleeping, his daily bank alert is just dropping. Why? Traffic. His traffic is sure. Say to yourself, I will make my traffic sure. I will do marketing activities. I will stand out from the crowd. How many marketing activities are you doing? How many marketing activities are you doing? You will create the traffic. And the traffic is marketing. You will wake up every day with a mind of marketing. And ask yourself, how can people hear about what I'm selling? If you're on Facebook, you enter Instagram. Image on Instagram, you ask them, what next? Email list. What else? What's up marketing? What else? What's up leveraging? What next are people doing? They say you'll be learning different marketing. You will pick huge interest in marketing. I'm an extremely successful accountant. I'm not a regular accountant. Every time I speak at accounting events, they bring me to talk about how accountants can make money. How? And by the way, I was a regular accountant. Regular. I started my training in PwC. I went on to Bank PHB. Then I headed the finance for Jumia. So I understand retail. I was Jumia's head of finance, right? I did regular accounting. I was a regular accountant. Then 11 years, I pulled out and came to do accounting for businesses. Do you know my ICANN number? When you become a chartered accountant, you get a serial number. Oh, my number is 22,000. Ubu I held only 50,000. Can you imagine if I didn't go to learn marketing? If I didn't stand out, 9,000 licensed accounting firms. Who am I? Who am I? 22,000 chartered accountants. Who is Choma? If I didn't go to learn marketing. But I learned marketing. I took my accounting skill, used 15% of it. I do bookkeeping, the most elementary part of accounting. Then I took marketing, 85%. I entered the market. Come and see Nkuri. Choma will teach one class, 5,000 people. Paid. Paid. Paid people. They didn't come free. 5,000 paid participants, marketing. Pure marketing. All they need from me is elementary accounting skill, how to keep their books. Because by the way, they all aren't keeping their books. And then I went to bring my marketing skill and added to it. And that's what I want to teach you today. You can take a very simple thing and just slap on top of it the most amazing marketing efforts. And now I come back again. You'll be wondering, is it you? It's only bookkeeping I'm doing. The day I went to ICANN to take a, get a license, and I said, oh, I came here for a bookkeeping. He said, no, madam, we only give audit license. Because every accountant is an auditor. I don't do audit. It's too hard. It's too hard. I want something too elementary. Teach people to keep their books. You know, when you study accounting in the university, and you know how we say SEC 101, that bookkeeping they taught us, that's what I built a firm out of. The only thing I did differently was amazing marketing. I'm probably the most noisiest accountant. Yes, I am. I'm the noisiest accountant you know. I'm the accountant with the largest social following. Marketing. Marketing. And that's the last part of making daily money. So seated there, my alerts keep dropping every day. I have trainings online. I have online courses, video recorded courses, voice recorded courses. Right? And people are just clicking and buying. 
because my marketing is top-notch. And my accounting skill, the most basic of it I'm using, creates your traffic. Live a life of marketing and give other people the operations to do. Is it to keep record? I can train hundreds of accountants and they'll be helping people do it. But they can't go and bring hundreds of businesses. That's the hard part that I need to do myself. So traffic means the people who you intend to buy what you're selling. You need a lot of traffic to come in contact with what you're selling. And this is the marketing. And I'm sure I have done justice speaking a lot about marketing. By the way, Sir Pamtech, I love the marketing that you do. Oh my God. I love the marketing that you do. He sells car spare parts. I have never seen him. I don't know who he is, but yesterday or day before, I was showing your business to my husband. You know how they do marketing in like Igbo? Now, one now, you will not change your vault of your car. It is so sweet. This thing excites me. So when you were introduced today, I said I was going to come and give you a handshake. You are living the dream. I love the marketing that you do. I love the marketing that you do, sir. Thank you so much, sir. Thank you. So you must learn to sell and spend a lot of your time and resources selling. I promised I was going to deliver to you four simple strategies to step into your daily bank alert, to step into a life of making money every day. Number one, Develop the consciousness. Number two. Number three. Number four. My job is done. Thank you. They're so freaking bad by all of the things I never had.